Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another video. Got outside today and uh, it's like 85 degrees already here in the south. It's crazy. We went from like summer to kind of fallish to summer. I mean, that's how it always goes down here in the south. But anyway, so I'm out here today just hanging out, trying to make a couple of videos. I'm sweating like crazy. I thought I'd check out, I uh, thought I'd show you a new little stove um, that I recently got from Fire Maple. It's one of their new stoves. Go check it out. I just made up some. Um, some coffee. I picked up some of this Capico three-in-one coffee from the uh, international market uh, last week and uh, been looking for some different coffees to take, something instant type coffee uh, that was decent. And um, I picked this up. This is a strong and rich coffee mix and uh, so I like strong coffee. But So I thought I'd try that out and let me show you this stove here. It's a neat little stove. I've only used uh, one part of it and I'll probably merge uh, two two videos together into this video, so you'll probably see uh, not only a different you know place or something when I use the second part of this, but let me just show you and, I, and I'll explain to it as we go. So my name is Chris Watson, Skills to Survive. I'll be right back. All right, folks, let's check out this cool little stove. Now this is a this is one of Fire Maple's new stoves. It's called the Lava Stove. I don't know why they named it that, but that's the name of it. It's called the Lava Stove. And what makes this stove unique is it's a multi-fuel stove, which is very cool. As you can see here, I've got just a regular isobutane um, uh, canister on there. So that's kind of how a lot of people are going to use this particular stove. But what I thought was awesome with this particular stove is it comes with a bottle. And it comes with a pump. And I said multi-fuel, so this will run off of your regular gasoline and kerosene. So... Like I said in the intro, we're gonna try that out on a separate video and I'll probably merge the two together uh, showing this in use because I haven't used, obviously I haven't used the kerosene or gasoline in here yet, but I will be doing that soon. But it's really neat because again, that makes the stove extremely versatile. And I know there's been several times where, you know, I've ran out of these fuel canisters here or something like that. and. You know, but you generally have gasoline or kerosene laying around your house. At least I do because I mow my yard. I have a kerosene heater. I have kerosene lanterns, stuff like that. So that's generally around all over the world, kerosene and gasoline. These propane butane canisters may not be uh, around everywhere. So you may be able to find gasoline or kerosene, uh, which, again, that's what I like. This reminds me of a stove that MSR had. I think it was called the International um, Stove years ago, and it may still be out. I don't know. Um, and it reminds me of that stove because the international stove, you could run off of multi different fuels as well. So it's, it comes with a lot of cool little features. So you get a, you get your stuff sack, you can put everything in a stuff sack. The fuel bottle, uh, goes in a stuff sack, uh, with your pump, uh, with the stove and, and everything. And it has inside of here, it has a little zippered compartment and in the little zippered compartment, you have a nice little repair kit. So if um, your stove uh, breaks or you need to do some maintenance on it, you do have a repair kit in there. It's very stable, as you can, you might be able to tell. I just had this thing running some. So it's very stable. Here it is, here's the, the uh, 1.2 liter pot. Sets on here very nice uh, and stable. It does have a tripod leg or three leg type design. You can adjust your uh, thermostat basically right here. And then over here, on this side, this is how you turn the fuel on uh, for your isobutane uh, propane. And it has legs on it too, so you can either run your fuel like this or you can turn it upside down. You don't have to use, you know, you don't have to use those legs. These will actually fold up and you don't have to use these legs. They, they just fold out of the way. And you can actually take these off as well. I just leave them on there. It just makes it easier for me, um, just for, you know, what I'm using it for. And right here, you can see, it has this little wrench right here. So this is for maintenance of the of the stove itself. So you have a little wrench, it has a little, uh, inside there has a little pick. Um, so you can, again, stove is still very hot. I just burnt myself there, but um, I digress. So anyway, you can take the, um, with the little wrench there that is included in the kit, take it apart. Uh, service your stove if you need to if the jets sometimes the jets uh, will get clogged up when you use gasoline and stuff like that so they include that which is nice 
Um, I, I like that feature a lot. They pretty much included um, or thought about just about everything that you would need other than your fuel. Um, so yeah, so so far this has been a pretty cool stove. I've used this a few times again with the propane uh, butane mixture there or the iso butane mixture. I've used it with that, but I have not yet used it with the um, the gasoline. So we're going to use it and test out with the gasoline. You'll probably see that on again mixed in here, maybe some clips or whatever. And then we'll come back and do some final thoughts um, of this stove. So stay tuned for that. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll be back and see you here uh, on the next clip. All right, folks, welcome back. So let's finish up this review here of the Fire Maple Lava Stove. Let me tell you, I'm extremely disappointed uh, in this stove, actually. <laughs> As you've seen in the beginning of the video, when it when I was running on it with gas, it was awesome. I really liked this stove, and I thought this was going to be kind of a game changer for me because I have some upcoming trips uh, planned that I didn't want to um, use gas all the time, and it would be nice to actually use gasoline or kerosene. So let me tell you really quick. I'll try to sum it up for you uh, really quick. So I went on a camping trip, um, didn't want to use the gas. I wanted to use, or didn't want to use the isobutane. I wanted to use gas uh, because it's multi-fuel stove. So I wanted to use the gasoline bottle. So I filled this up with gasoline uh, to the fill level um, there and um, put the pump in there, pumped it up according to the directions. And um, immediately uh, gas started spewing out uh, like crazy once it was pressurized. Um, spewing out and I'll show you here in just a second where it's coming from so gas started spewing everywhere so I was like whoa very dangerous right because gasoline is highly flammable so I clean got it all cleaned up and I said well maybe I just didn't tighten it down tight enough maybe I just didn't tighten this down uh, tight enough inside the bottle here um, so I went back tightened it down again still gasoline spewed out everywhere and I'll put in a quick clip it's only a, a very short clip uh, as I'm talking here about that and um so what was happening was gasoline, there was, when this piece right here is plastic, when this piece was formed, you see there is a, uh, that's where it was formed. There was like a little, a, like a little nipple right here. Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, that was sticking out. Now, when this O-ring was pushed up against that little nipple, it was causing just enough space to allow gas to come out once this was pressurized. That's what I found out. Um, just by trial and error and, and working with it. So tried it several more times. I couldn't get it to work, couldn't get it to work. Um, I eventually, I shaved this little piece off here and um, I got it to work. Uh, once it was working, it was working great. Uh, I was like, man, this is awesome. Definitely a game changer, definitely love it. Um, however, uh, it's very finicky uh, to get started. Uh, the instructions state, uh, once you pump this up, or once you connect this to, to the bottle, um, you connect the bottle uh, here and then you um, pump it up you got to turn this knob on and then for a second or turn this knob on for a second to let um, gasoline get in here then you light it let this heat up for a second and then you turn it back on again or something but anyway it's very finicky to get started uh, however once it was started once you figured it out it, it was awesome ran beautifully um, so fast forward a little bit, I contacted the company and said, Hey, I'm having some issues with this stove. This is what's going on with the stove. Uh, sent pictures, even sent the video. The company responded back and said, I didn't have the O ring. I had the O ring seal tightened too tight. So I was like, okay. So I loosened it up. Uh, when I cranked it down, I loosened it up a little bit. Still same issue, same issue. Contacted the company back. They said, uh, they reviewed it with their engineer and they still say, according to what I'm telling them, I'm tightening it, tighten it down too tight and the O-ring seal is compressed. So again, I went back to him. I said, the O-ring seal is not compressed. I changed the O-ring seal out and I included the video where the gas was spewing out right here. So anyway, I went round and round with the company. I was getting very upset with the company. Um, you know, I've had very good success with Fire Maple products um, so far in the, in the past. Well, there was one other stove that I have and... Um, their um, pot and stuff I actually absolutely love. And the other stove is great. So, and I was getting very upset with the customer service I was receiving. Basically, I was telling them there was a problem. They were coming back and telling me that I was the problem. So back and forth, back and forth. Um, finally, they agreed to send me another one, uh, which, however, this was uh, two weeks ago now as of this filming, and I haven't received anything. So I'm going to email them again today and ask them if they're going to send me another stove or not. Regardless, I'm still posting this video because this is a flaw. Um, 
this is could be an extremely dangerous problem um, to anybody that uses a stove for the first time and does, is not aware. Um, this may be a fluke. This may be a one-off. I'm not saying all these stoves are bad uh, at all. I'm just saying that I have a bad stove and basically a bad uh, pump here. Everything else worked fine. That being said, last night I went to use the stove again. Um, tried to use it again with the gasoline. Wouldn't work. Um, still, or actually I take that back. It worked just for a couple of minutes and then it quit. Couldn't get it working again at all. Pressure was good, all that. So anyway, I swapped to the isobutane canister. Isobutane canister will not work now as well. Uh, you cannot, the gas will not flow through here. I took this entire thing apart with, uh, according to the directions, which are not very clear as far as how to take it apart and clean it and all that stuff. I did that, took this whole thing apart, cleaned it, and I still cannot get the gas, the isobutane to work now at all. So now the stove is completely broken, so now, you know, I'm going to, again, email the company back and tell them that now the stove is completely broken and hopefully they will send me a new one. And then uh, until that, until then, if I get a new one and test it out, I will make an update video and I will post it uh, after this one. Uh, but until then, right now, I say the Fire Maple Lava Stove is a, is a thumbs down. I, I hate to say it, but it is a complete thumbs down for me. Again, I may have got a one-off and I hope I did get a one-off. Um, but the fact that if this went down, I should have been able to swap immediately back to this and still it's not, you can't do that. Or it's in my case, it's not working at all, even after taking it apart and cleaning it. So again, that's my review of the Fire Maple Lava Stove. Again, hopefully I get a new one and it works great. I will do uh, an update video if I do. Um, and if I don't, don't buy this stove. Um, at least, or if you do buy it, um, you know, buy it at your own risk. Hopefully your uh, results are different than mine. But again, I, I absolutely got this stove and loved it um, thought it was going to be a game changer for me and it may be i say that now it may be if they get it fixed i, I would like to come back and say that it's fixed and um, yeah so until then thanks for watching folks get outside get outdoors always make sure you have necessary skills to survive and i will see you on another video really soon